Open the curtains a sliver while you're still laid down. Lie in love. Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Move a crack of light around your room by opening and closing your curtains or blinds to varying degrees. Admittedly, this works best if one has an east or south facing window and it's a very bright day, but if you don't and it's not, you can observe the lack of sublime natural phenomena as well. Be particularly bodyful of automatic, unconscious phone use and the impatience you feel about checking your phone for updates in the morning. If you must turn on and use it, do so with utter focus, attention and love. Rise and shine. Remember to drink some water. Try some formal meditation. You can do this with your own discipline and volition, but it's probably better to use a guided meditation track or app to start with to avoid distraction. Oh, I should brush my teeth first. You should brush your teeth first. Apparently these habits work best when you sandwich them between or for or after existing habits. Rise and shine. Something that's popped up, oh no brands, in the uh, advertising online is this there's lots of things about routines and rituals and gym, whatever, um, home, no brands, home whatever, um, one of which is brushing your teeth, are you doing it right? Um, and I was like, well obviously, I don't know, I'm like an adult, I don't know, but um, it was like, oh okay. It's worth to brush your teeth before breakfast. Um, and it neutralizes the acids in your mouth, or it neutralizes the pH in your mouth. You can wave at your shadow on the wall. If you're struggling to be present, knock something hard and heavy over, which will jolt you into the present moment, even if you're expecting it. Move something round for the sake of it and watch how the light changes.
drop off, throw your phone to prove to yourself that you're not precious about it. Gaze out of the window. If you do this for 21 days, it'll become a habit. You'll start to reset your vibration and awareness so much so that you begin to conduct yourself in an entirely different way. Every day will be the best day you've ever had because you'll be in the present. And the real present is the presence. That's why it's called the present, because it's a present. Light and love.